So I ran across a problem in my wife's car. She got the 2002 Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, no matter if she pressed the brake pedal or not, her lights were staying on, her brake lights. Um, so I went to find out a solution on it. I went underneath the car to where the brake pedal is, and I found the problem. Uh, so the problem behind this is, obviously, if you're driving down the road and your brake lights stay on, it's going to be unsafe for everybody around you. If uh, your car is like hers, the electricity constantly runs through the circuit, so uh, it would run the battery down because the brake light stayed on continuously. Um, so let's jump on in this problem and I think we'll be able to fix it. Okay, so here we are at the driver's seat, uh, looking at the gas and brake pedals obviously. With the problem being with the, the brakes, I'm going to follow the brake lever arm up from the pedal. Uh, I really hope that this is the best way to show you what I'm going to try to show. Uh, it's a difficult angle to shoot, but it's not really difficult to find, so if you can bear with me, you should be able to see what you're looking for. So following that arm up, uh, okay, that's what we're looking at. So it's just at the end of the arm of the of the lever for the brake pedal. Um, Scoot it away so it'll focus a little better. You see the gold nut, then you have that piece of metal that the gold is up against. Uh, you have a silver nut and a yellow bumper pad. Uh, the bumper pad is part of the brake assembly there, and that white piece that just appeared, I've depressed the brake pedal, so you would hope the brake lights would come on. Uh, I've actually fixed this car's problem uh, to show you a working model. I have an illustration to show you how to fix yours that I'll uh, display here in just a second. But when, the, when you can see that white uh, piece right there, that's when the sensor, uh, the circuit is full, um, and your brakes will display the lights. Now that you can't see it, you hope, uh, if everything, if your sensor is actually not faulty, um, your brakes would not uh, be on, so your brake lights wouldn't be on either. Uh, keep in mind, everything we're looking at here for the illustration that I'm going to display now, you've got the, the nut, the piece of metal, another nut, your white piece, which uh, is the sensor part, and then the yellow bumper pad that's attached to the brake pedal. Okay, so here's the illustration I was talking about using. Uh, you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit, but if we treat the bolt as the threaded rod that the two nuts sit on, obviously the two nuts is going to represent the gold and the silver nut. This washer is the piece of metal that uh, was hanging down, kept everything in place. Uh, we're going to I uh, have to imagine this, but the head of the bolt, treat that like the uh, that white piece on the sensor that would plunge in and out whenever you uh, move it away from the yellow bumper pad. So with my hand at the yellow bumper, um, if I were to hit the brakes in this illustration, this would move away. Uh, and if it was working correctly, this would move away. The head of the bolt would be able to move this way. Uh, which that's the sensor, that white piece, um, and your brake lights would come on. This comes back in, the sensor goes back to its original position, the brake lights go off. But whenever I found my car, it was sitting like this. This washer was the piece of metal. Uh, the nuts were nowhere close to it. Uh, they were just backed off. You know, you drive 100,000 miles, it's bound to happen. Uh, so it's something that you want to add to your checklist whenever you uh, do your maintenance or whatever. But in order to fix it, you tighten these up towards the uh, that piece of metal that came down that we looked at. So you got your two nuts tightened up against it. But you can't just arbitrarily choose where to do it. It has to be where that white sensor uh, plunger is uh, not showing. It's up against your yellow bumper pad whenever you're not hitting the brakes. But you don't need to tighten it up too far because when you hit the brakes, the instant you touch them, uh, you need the traffic behind you to know. So you need it to uh, just be up there close enough that when you hit the brake, this comes away and your sensor is able to be plunged out and turn your lights on.